How cool is this? That bloke, do it with old fashioned power. Today, we're doing it with Yamaha power. This little boat, absolute gem. This man, Jarvis Wall. He knows where the big brim are, and today, he's gonna help me find them. There you go, mate. Buckled in, ready to go. Even the chopper's looking for a brim, mate. Good of you to organise a big drone. So mate, electric's in, what's the plan from here? Uh, we'll just cruise down this flat. We're just looking for the right sort of bottom at the moment. It's a bit wetty still here. So you actually like a full sand bottom? Yeah, looking for the good sand patches along the weed edges where the fish will move up and down to feed. Fishing the flats today, super shallow water, like we're in two feet at the moment, just slowly ticking along with the electric. We're using a crab imitation, and basically you want that crab just to sit on the bottom, a little bit of a move, stop, a little bit of a move, stop, and the idea is to try and cast as long as you physically can so that you get your lure to the fish before the fish actually sees us in the boat. Yep, that's fish. Nice one. Hey, yeah, it feels alright. Good work. Hey, you did not see that fish, did you? Nah. So you're literally casting like me, just prospecting? Yep. And hoping. Now, do you think it's a brim or a flatty, mate? Uh, it's hard to say. Yep. I oh, know. It's definitely a brim. Yep. Now, how big of the brim? Oh, it is a brim. How big of the brim you're catching here, mate? I reckon they're the biggest brim in Australia. Ooh, big call. Look at the size of this thing. I'm going for the net. Look at the way he's pushing his head in that current. That's a powerful fish. Okay, mate, when you're really ready. done now. Get him up. Look at him sit on his side. Oh, it just grew. That oh. is... Oh. <laughs> Stop it. Seriously. <laughs> Stop it. It's not real, is it? That is a horse of a brim. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> mate, is that like as big as brim get? No, nah, that's just average. You're serious? That's just average. I'm here to say there is nothing average about that brim. <laughs> this fish, how long do you reckon it'd be? Uh, it'd be 42, 43 to fork. What's the biggest you've caught? 49, fork. Two words, stop it. <laughs> special fish pump, we'll put him back. <laughs> More than special, mate, that is just wrong. Your turn next. And all these fish? Oh, there he goes, off strong. They go back, because you just don't kill a fish that awesome, no. do you? Too special. I'm still speechless. <laughs> still talking, but still speechless, if you know what I mean. Now, Jarvis, I know a lot of people on the mainland think Tassie. Sure, there's no fish in Tassie, but you've caught some absolute stongers. How long have you been fishing for? Uh, probably, probably five, five years, so. Yep, and you've gone on a very quick progression like this. Tell us about some of the brim you've caught in Tassie. And the biggest one is 49 centimetres to the fork, 53 overall. I've caught four others that have gone over 50 to the tip. So 50 centimetre brim. Yep. I reckon that equates to about a thousand pound marlin, 30 pound snapper. I've never even seen one. But you get some big blue spot flatties. Yeah, well. we get big blue spot flathead here. I've, I haven't personally caught any monstrous ones. My biggest is 70. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a monster. <laughs> and you get some strange looking fish here too. What was that pretty thing uh, you caught? The old butterfly gurnard. Aren't they beautiful? Now, they look pretty. Did you eat it? No, uh, yeah, I did. And? Really good. They look pretty and pretty tasty too. Seriously, Tazzy, get down here. There are so many fishing options, it's mind blowing. The marine life in this inlet is just out of control. We've seen flounder, seen big flathead, gummy shark, eagle rages cruising by. It has been just mind blowing. Some of the mullet and the brim we've sighted too, out of control. Some of the reasons brim are so popular with amateur anglers, they can be caught in every state of Australia. There's over 20 species worldwide. And the other thing, they're a very popular land-based fish. They go into all those areas where land-based anglers have really good access. 
Not bad in the chew, but fight extremely hard. When you've got all those things going for you, it's no wonder everyone loves catching them. He's a nice fish, mate. You just said you've caught him up under this tree before. Oh, he's, he's good. He's going to be solid. Well done, mate. Oh, he's going for a run. Do you want me to do anything? Yeah. <laughs> Help out. Take this if you can. Just try and steer us out. Thank you. That's a big fish, eh? It is a good fish. Holy snapper. Now, what do you have to do to try and keep me out of the oysters, mate? Uh, if you just point the electric and pull me away. Yep. To try and go to the middle? Yep, he's coming out now. Beautiful. I'm gonna grab the net, this is a big fish. And he was exactly where you said he'd be. Exactly mate. where I said, under the tree. Yep. This yeah. is amazing, just keep trying the same thing. I've tried 32 different lures. And Jarvis has just stuck with the same old lure and done very, oh yeah, oh. big fish, big fish. That is a nice fish, mate. They actually look like a dinner plate, eh? Literally like a dinner plate on their side. Big silver flanks. That's it's ridiculous. Oh, it's going a broom full string. Touch that drag back a bit now. That is crazy. Now, six pound leader? Yep. Why six pound? Just, yeah, they're super fickle. They can be hard to get the bites out of, but yep. you do run the risk when you're fishing around these oystery banks. They can, yeah, tear you to shreds in seconds. So they're not a fish that plays dirty, or are they? Ah, uh, they, I think if they do, it's by accident. Okay. I don't think they'll deliberately Go try in. and smash you. Yep. But they will run over oyster bars and all He's that jazz. Doing very well here, very light drag. Oh my goodness me, I am going to freak when I see the size of this thing. That is, oh, it is so big. It is so big. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. Jarvis, that is so wrong on every level, my friend. Look at the size of that for a magnificent brim from Tassie. I've literally been blown away by how big these things are. The day is still young, but the fishing is absolutely out of control. Beautiful brim, how big do you reckon it is? Uh, yeah, over 40. That is just incredible. And at 40, you'd imagine this fish is somewhere between 20 and 30 years of age, which is mind blowing. A fish of this size can lay up to six million eggs a year. Those eggs float, they take about two to three days to actually hatch. And believe it or not, mate, within four weeks, you're already 10 mil long and harassing a lot of small things in the estuary system. I think that's why it's so important we put these things back, eh? That's exactly right. Awesome, mate, I'm so impressed. Well, as you do, mate, put the big girls back. All big boys, I don't really mind what they are. They're just amazing, hey, look at him. <laughs> I really can't believe you've got a fishery with brim that are consistently that big. It's pretty special. It is pretty special. Now the whole world knows about it. What are you gonna do? Probably get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Shh, the secret isn't out.